Hey guys, it's Random Thoughts here again today with you. Uh, I wanted to do another in-depth look slash uh, unboxing of a vinyl that I had got in earlier this year by Mushroom Head, and I got this from their record company. I believe they're uh, with Napalm Records. I think that the record is really cool. I haven't listened to all the tracks yet, uh, unfortunately. But, uh, of course, my favorite track from that it, from them is Seen It All. I think it's a really good track. No, it's nothing really in particular for fancy, but I think it kicks butt. It's groovy. Uh, you can play it on the radio. You can headbang to it. You can dance with it. And it's things like that that I think that much, that's why Musher had keep, keeps going, too, because they make music for themselves and for the fans. And, yes, they might be weird or people might give them crap, which... I've heard of, of course, you know, Mushroom Head versus Slipknot and all that, and that's all in the past now, but, um, anyway, I, I will support Mushroom Head, I, I love them, uh, I don't know anything about their history, anything like that, about much about their hash with their other members, blah, 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 no problem, still love them, so I think they're a great band, very unique sound, very strange, uh, very dark, creepy, um, but from what I have heard about this record is that, um, or heard from it, excuse me, is that it really reminds me of the older Mushroom Head back from the Super Buick era slash their self-titled. I really like it. Um, I love that they incorporated a female, female vocalist. Um, I thought a lot of, a lot of people weren't going to like it. I actually like it. I was very impressed with, with, uh, with her singing. Um, I think she makes a great match. I think it's her name is uh, Jackie LaPanza, something like that. Um, and I'm so glad that they have that their new vocalist um, has done really well in the band, and that J Man's still in the band. Still my favorite vocalist. Love J Man. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to all you guys that have continued to make uh, Mushroom Head music and keeping that alive since 1993, I believe. So anyway, uh, here's the vinyl record itself. Uh, here's the packaging. Um, Napalm had given out these little masks with it. Of course, it's really cool. No, I'm not going to wear it. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. Um, I think it's more like a novelty item that they, get, that they gave away with these. Um, see, I, I uh, just pre-ordered the uh, regular uh, limited edition uh, black, black and gold swirl colored uh, uh, vinyl record. Um, I actually have two of these, and this is the, this is the open one, and so yeah, let's get to it. So obviously, there isn't really much to the packaging itself. Um, I actually already opened these up before, but like I said, I want to do a video to to uh, show show everybody uh, just the vinyl records going here. Obviously, um, there ain't much to it. Um, obviously that they did all the lyrics and stuff, um, uh, over here and on the other side too. Um, so yeah, here is side A. And, bum ba da bum let's see how it looks. Very, 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 very clean looking. Wow, that's, that's, that's incredible. Side A, Requiem of, of tomorrow, for Tomorrow, Madness Within, Seen It All, The Hersey, Her Heresy, that's it. What a Shame, Pulse, Carry On, The Time Has Come, 11th Hour, I Am The One. Now, I don't know if the, uh, the second vinyl record uh, looks any different, but I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that one too for you guys. I'm going to pull it out and show you, because it may look different, I don't know. Um, these had sold quickly, sold out quickly on uh, their the website, Napalm Records website. I don't know if you can get these through them no more. I do believe that they had like a different colored edition that they were um, selling on there. Uh, like I said, this one looks wonderful, really cool. The the black and gold swirl, wow, really cool. Here's side C and side D. Ah, so this one's more plain. It's got like a little, looks like a little black splotch on it. Really neat looking. More like a gold than it is black. I really like that about 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 this record set. Um, 
and it looks like it's got this. It maybe just might be just coloration or might be just something they did intentionally. I don't know, but here the songs The Flood, Where the End Begins, Confutus, and To the Front, Sound of Destruction, Another Ghost, and Lacrimosa. And another thing about, the, about, this, about this record, too, is that on this album, is that a few of these songs, I believe, on side D are actually, uh, believe on side C and D are actually extra tracks that, uh, that they wanted to do for the fans. And I think that's a wonderful thing. Um, and I hope that they continue to make music uh, 10, 15 years down the road. Uh, I may not like this album as much as I do previous ones. And, of course, I liked uh, Story of the Beautiful Children. Uh, let's see here. Um, Save Your Sorrow uh, and all the other previous ones. But, yeah, this is a great album. I, I haven't heard of this side, but the last but side of A and B I have. And I think that the rest of the... Rest of the uh, Music is going to be really cool too. Um, yeah, the thing about it though, about their music, it's, it might be a little strange to people, but it's really like a, kind of like an acquired taste. Either you like it or you don't. And fortunately for me, I have branched out from listening to Fit for an Autopsy all the way to like Breaking Benjamin when it comes to rock and metal music. So, music like this, I, I'm w definitely going to get into. I uh, hope there's other bands like, like Mushroom Head, Slipknot, and Motor grader, mud vein, mud vein out there um, that I can get into. But yeah, um, I hope you like this opening, and I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. I'm going to go ahead and show you on this side real quick. It uh, has the record and all the credits for A Wonderful Life on here. I'm going to go ahead and show you, and I'm going to close out with this video. of showing you the back, and it has... All the songs, uh, 1 through 17 on here. Again, if you do like Mushroom Head, uh, go ahead and get this. I do recommend it. But, you know, if you don't, like I said, it's an acquired taste. I haven't seen them live yet. Uh, from where I live, they closed down the venue. But uh, I hope that they get to come back um, to, to Tyler, Texas. be great. Um, obviously, that's where I live. But yeah, um, they came back there. They came there before, and I hope that one day they get to come back. So, this is another opening video uh, for another vinyl record and another band that I really like. Uh, and it's also said right here, obviously, strictly limited edition. Strictly. Really funny. Um, really cool, too. Anyway, um, if you got any questions or comments, um, hit me up down below. And y'all have a good evening. Have a good day. Have a dope ass day. And. Y'all take it easy. And oh, also, and my random thoughts today on the on this record. It depends if you want it, if you like their music, but I do recommend getting it. So, absolutely, it's beautiful and it's gorgeous. So, at the end of the day, yes, get this record. Random thoughts out.